Hello and welcome to SOAP UI tutorial. So this is in continuation with the previous tutorial wherein we understood the end-to-end -end test case with uh, six test steps and a property transfer uh, which, uh, which was seven test steps in a particular test case and then there were a couple of things that were hard-coded in this particular test case. Okay, so for example if we open get all projects we have hard-coded the value of the workspace GID okay now we'll start removing these hard-coded values and then design our fully automated end-to-end -end test case okay now we'll close this and before we get the workspace id we need to understand which is the request from which we'll get the workspace id okay so if you see these request here so get a project get multiple workspaces is what we are looking for if you open this particular request this request is a get get request okay get method and it will give you the details of all the workspaces okay if you go to the response it will give you the workspaces that are present in the particular organization okay so we'll use this particular get all workspaces in this particular test step so just right click add a new step and say get all workspaces click ok and then select get all workspaces yeah so get all workspaces select this one and hit ok i'll move this at the top okay because we will be getting all workspaces and then passing the value of the workspace for which we want to get the project okay so we will run this particular request okay and see the response now in the response you will see the GID is there because there is just one workspace that that is why we are getting just one GID now this is the value that we want to pick and pass to get all workspaces rather than hard coding this value here so let me remove this value here save the project okay and now we'll use a proper transfer again to transfer the value of pro a workspace did value from this particular response right this value from here to get all projects in a workspace request okay so it will be exactly same as we did the property transfer previously add the test step property transfer and you can rename it we'll rename it transfer uh, workspace GID okay and move this after get all workspaces okay so we'll be getting the workspace ID and then transferring to get all projects in a workspace. All right. So just add the transfer name. I'll say workspace GID. And what will be the source? Get all workspace. Property will be the response. And path language will be JSON path. Okay. Now let's understand the JSON path for this one. So I've opened this particular request. Let me open property transfer as well. Now to write the JSON path, the root node is dollar and then dot. The root node is data here. Okay. And then dot GID. The child node will give the value of this particular GID okay and where do we need to pass it we need to pass it get all projects in workspace and in the workspace gid property let's run this uh, oh okay so that's an error if you understand here if you see here this is not a dictionary so if it is in curly braces um so like here that's that's one dictionary if you see it as a whole okay so in this dictionary it's basically uh, the square braces means there it is an array now in order to get the details of the array 
okay we have to define array index okay let me open the, the transfer again so here you can see there is a dictionary and then in the dictionary there is an array there is just one um, index okay so what will be the index that will be because it starts from zero so we'll say zero okay and then it will give us the so in this index array index we are looking for the first value or GID the value for the GID so now it should pass let's run again and now you can see the value the transfer value is the workspace GID value okay now why is this response coming in as an array and um, all these details how you will be able to write the JSON path I'll prepare a complete separate set of tutorials uh, four five tutorials and explain you all the details of um, writing the JSON path so that it is helpful when you are doing the automation of the web services so don't worry about that I'll create separate tutorials to explain all the JSON path and will cover the concepts of different areas responses how we'll traverse the uh, to the to the nodes and then get values for those nodes so as of now just understand that in a dictionary there is an error and the index of the array is zero uh, the GID that we are looking for is in the index zero and that's how we'll be defining it if there would have been multiple values in this array then you just change the index to um, 0 1 2 based on whatever value you are trying to fetch okay so now that particular value has been fetched and it has been transferred to workspace GID now let's open this particular request and you can see this has been transferred successfully let me delete it again and run the property transfer and show you it in action okay let me run it and you can see that it has been populated automatically again all right so now the workspace GID value that we had hard coded previously now using the property transfer and another get request for by getting the workspace we are transferring that workspace GID to get all projects in workspace request all right now the next request is create a project now this is a bit different so now till now we have been what we have been doing is we have been passing the dynamic values to the parameters okay or to the resource location itself now here if you see here right we have been passing it to the resource or to the parameters but in the create a project we have to pass it in the JSON request okay so it's a bit different um, but the key concept will still remain same but if you see here we are having two values that need to be passed here the workspace GID and the team GID so in next tutorial we'll understand how we can use property transfer to transfer the workspace GID and team GID in the uh, request JSON uh, JSON request of create a new project so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching